Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with Spring Data JPA. Our viewer is facing a challenge with pessimistic locking while trying to manage serial numbers in a database. Let's break down the question. Our viewer wants to read an entity from the database, lock it, increment a serial number, and then update the entity. However, they're experiencing unexpected behavior where multiple threads seem to access the record simultaneously, leading to issues with transaction commits. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the issue with pessimistic locking in Spring Data JPA. You want to lock a record in the database so that only one thread can update it at a time. In your repository, you are using the at lock annotation with lock mode type pessimistic write. This should ideally prevent other threads from accessing the record until the first thread commits its transaction. However, you are experiencing a deadlock situation. This can occur if multiple threads are trying to access the same resource simultaneously. To resolve this, ensure that your transaction management is correctly configured. You can also consider using optimistic locking as an alternative. This allows multiple threads to read the data, but requires them to check for changes before committing updates. Finally, Ensure that your database connection settings are optimized for handling transactions. Review your connection pool settings and consider increasing the timeout values. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with pessimistic locking in Spring Data JPA, make sure to add the at transactional annotation to your repository method. This ensures that both your service and repository methods run in the same transaction. Additionally, use the propagation.required option in your at transactional annotation. This will help manage the transaction boundaries effectively. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.